Thank you so much, Dr. Rosenberg. Um, Dr. Beinman, um, on Tuesday, June 8th, as part of the National Month of Action, Kaiser Permanente announced a new patient vaccine re outreach effort. How are you, can you tell us about it and how are you able to make it work? Well, Dr. Walensky, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here with you today. And let me just start by saying how pleased I am to see the steps you've been taking to restore scientific integrity at the CDC. Kaiser Permanente has been really pleased to be a part of the National Month of Action Sprint to vaccinate 70% of adults in the United States against COVID-19 with at least one shot by July 4th. And as an integrated delivery system, Kaiser Permanente has been able to leverage our sophisticated electronic health record, digital tools, and coordinated efforts across our care continuum to create patient-centric strategies to increase the number of vaccinated members and in the public. With our scale and extensive experience in population health, uh, Kaiser Permanente uh, aims to boost vaccine confidence with a multi-pronged approach, uh, really to try to reach targeted populations. Uh, for example, we use our electronic record system uh, to identify and reach out to eligible but unvaccinated people. And we do this using culturally relevant emails, mailings, and texts to encourage uh, vaccination. Uh, you know, messages are tailored to individuals and populations and use a variety of messengers, including our providers, as we've talked about in the last sessions. We use our employees who reflect the people uh, in the community. You know, and then when, when our patients and our members come into the, the office, uh, what we do is we make sure that physicians are prompted to discuss vaccination in a personalized uh, venue. Um, and uh, we use that same electronic health record to batch the emails and secure messages so that a primary care physician can send out those messages to their own patient panel. And we particularly target this uh, to um, high vaccine uh, hesitant communities where we believe that personalized touch can really make a difference. And uh, we, you know, we have been piloting uh, using text uh, in addition to email because we think that maybe just by cl clicking on a link in a text, it might um, reach some people who might not otherwise uh, be, be responsive. Another thing we've been doing is that when patients come to our facilities, including our pharmacies and our labs, we have posters uh, conveniently located throughout our facilities with QR codes that basically allow individuals to access our vaccine clinics and see immediately where they can come in and get a vaccine on a walk-in basis. So we're trying to make it as easy as possible uh, to get a vaccine. And we're also doing a lot of work in the communities where we are. So as part of the National Month of Action Sprint, we launched a robust acceleration plan beginning June 4th that's included um, an additional $10 million in community grants that we've provided to 100 community-based organizations to pr uh, promote vaccine confidence messages and engage organizations such as churches, schools, and other uh, trusted community hubs. This, this $10 million is on top of an investment we had already made of $25 million in nearly 200 community-based uh, organizations to increase vaccine access and build confidence in high-risk populations. We've also uh, created something called we call the immunity, uh, with an emphasis on unity sweepstakes. It's open to anyone age 12 or older who's been vaccinated by Kaiser Permanente or all vaccinated Kaiser Permanente members, regardless of where they got vaccinated. And this sweepstakes basically encourages vaccination while also supporting a full and healthy return to, uh, to life's activities. Uh, we have a thousand people who will be uh, uh, reward winners and these will include things like wellness retreats, healthy home meal deliveries, personal training equipment, gym memberships, and family trips to theme parks and national parks. And in the community, we're really relying on the use of uh, social media campaigns with uh, influencers that are relevant for those communities. So uh, we're reaching out to uh, particularly 18 to 30 year olds through these campaigns, delivering relevant messages from trusted voices and social influencers. Uh, we're doing this also uh, with existing partners, including the Cloud9 eSports organization. 
Finally, I, I just want to point out that we've created a toolkit at Kaiser Permanente that we have made available publicly. It's available on our website and it's focused on improving vaccine access and equity and um, trying to highlight really some of the approaches that we think have worked in our own setting. Uh, and um, in that toolkit, we identify seven archetypes among the population eligible to be, be vaccinated, uh, ranging from vaccine advocates to some steadfast opponents. And we try to provide concrete tactics for reaching each of those groups. And as I said, it's available on our website and we hope it will be used by others and will be found to be helpful as we try to contribute to this dialogue as you're doing here today to really uh, reach as many people as possible. Great. Thank you to you both. I, you know, I think what this discussion really highlights is um, how each setting may be unique and that there's so much extraordinary work that can be done in each. Dr. Rosenberg telling us 80,000 people who are reached um, and, you know, through a really complex setting like the emergency departments, but using a simple to use vaccine, the j, &J that really only requires one dose, really having equity at the focus. Um, and then also, Dr. Beinman, your, your ability to leverage, um, leverage uh, digital tools to um, do outreach and, and make sure that you're, you're um, doing that outreach that's um, tailored to individuals, um, as well as incentive programs. So, uh, so many lessons that we can learn as we take this in moving forward. But building on all of this, um, I would just like to encourage all health systems to reach out to as many patients as you can and in, in any different way that you can to make sure we learn the lesson from Dr. Rosenberg to engage all stakeholders. If you wanna do this in the emergency department, you may need to, re you do need to reach out to your C-suite and get help. Work with community-based organizations on expanding vaccine access in vulnerable communities. Sign up to vaccinate at your group practice, at your group or practice um, if you haven't already, and then encourage healthcare employee colleagues to get the vaccine themselves if they haven't already. So thank you for this discussion. Thank you so much, Dr. Rosenberg.